Hey, well, what's up? Today was, well, it was the last trading day of the month. Let's be quite frank about it. Last trading day of the week. And we're coming off a red day yesterday. We lost uh, $4,000 yesterday. And that put us a little bit behind the target of where we wanted to be. So we really needed to have a good day today. And uh, I don't like, we'd already had a red day on Monday, another one yesterday. So that's, that's two of each, two red days, two green days. I didn't want to have another red day today. I didn't want to finish on a low. I want to finish on a high. And that's what we've been able to do. So they're happy days. Although it didn't look like that to start off with. Uh, it, this week has been very choppy. Uh, and, and the markets today have, have been very choppy again as well. So, uh, But this week in particular has been very choppy in terms of uh, some of the moves. And, and it's been difficult trading. Wednesday was, was very bad in terms of uh, difficulty trading. Yesterday, um, there wasn't a lot moving. So it, it was difficult to find you know, the, the winning trades uh, yesterday. And today was no different. Uh, there were some good movers, but moving on low volume. And there was some good volume, but erratic moves. So a lot of sideways movement, a, a lot of kind of fake outs and you know, the, the breakouts not sustaining. And there's a lot of that going on. And I started off today very similar with that so i traded two stocks today one was an ipo and uh, i traded that it, it kind of sold off bounced i got the bounce uh, and then consolidated move sideways I'll, I'll, I'll not talk too much about that what i want to talk to, uh, to you about is um uh, avenue therapeutics so atxi now atxi if you recall is one that we traded uh it was the only one we traded on on tuesday and it was what I like to call an easy trader. Today, not so much. Uh, it, it ended up being an easy trader towards the end, but to start off with, it, it certainly wasn't. What I was able to do today is, is get green and, and have a bit of a, a red to green move. On Tuesday, it was, we got green, we stayed green and we was able to, to ride it up. Now today, as it moved, we jumped on and uh, we moved up. We kind of got faked out and we lost money. We ended up seven thousand dollars down on this uh, on this particular ticket. We we got three and a half thousand up, and then uh, we, we we kind of lost all, a little over ten thousand. So we a little over seven thousand dollars down on, on this one. We went to trade the IPO lays um, L A S E was the ticker, uh, and uh, then we got three thousand dollars on that. So it, it sold off. We got a, 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 out. Uh, we traded a little bit again, and then we, we came out. It was it wasn't breaking out. It kind of got faked out against the uh, the VWAP, so it wasn't really breaking it like I wanted it to. A lot of hype on this IPO as well uh, on social media. So the fact that it in the long term for this to, today it, it actually sold off, um, you know, kind of no surprise. It, it, things things like that can, can happen. Uh, but uh, ATXI. After I traded uh, lays, I looked at this and um, I, I was just going to pack up and, and, and take the dog for a walk. And uh, on the day trade with Tony Discord, uh, Dave on the day trade with Tony Discord uh, highlighted uh, a, a lovely double bottom. It was the W shape. Uh, it was upwards trending and we had the double bottom. So I got in for the break of the double bottom and uh, rode it all the way up. That's pretty much what uh, what what got me green, and uh, not only did it get me green, got me green. We we moved it up. We took a little bit on on the on the way up. We got to uh, a, a resistance level, took some profit there, uh, and then when we broke out of the resistance level, so it, we got the double bottom move up. Then it consolidated at a resistance level. Um, it consolidated into a, an ascending wedge, and when that wedge broke out, uh, it broke out and it moved. Dollar fifty, and I was able to take a, a huge portion of that, and it made us what, about fifteen thousand dollars, just what seventeen thousand dollars or something like that in, in total. Uh, so we finished ten thousand dollars up on on this particular ticker, and that put us thirteen thousand, thirteen and a half thousand dollars up uh, on the day. I did come back and, and tried to trade it again a little bit later. I was up, I was down, a bit like the, the, the movement of the stock itself. 
I was up and I was down. It's got a bit choppy. I finished another hundred dollars up, so I'm finishing uh, thirteen thousand six hundred uh, up on the day. And uh, let me just show you, and I'll, I'll show you the trades in in a moment. Uh, th this move up here. Uh, so our first entry was just after nine fifty, so just before ten o'clock. So I think it was about here. Uh, and then we moved up, and then we added to our position. So we, we actually took profits uh, up. Uh, near the tops here then we went in again up here when we, we took a, a big size uh up at kind of 10 25 uh, which is this level here uh and as it pulled back we thought okay we'll buy the dip it was a breakout um we had the consolidation then the breakout uh, and then as it pulled back we bought the dip and it's always a risky strategy to buy the dip uh, if it doesn't go your way, you really want to be cutting uh, cutting your position, getting out. Uh, and as it pulled back, held a little bit too long. I actually added to the position uh, for, for a bounce on the VWAP, and it, it broke the VWAP and uh, had, to, had to cut it, had to cut it. So that put us 7,000 down on the day. A little bit, a little bit disheartening. Given that it's the last day of the of, of the month, last day of the uh, of, of the week, and September's not been a great week of trading for me so far. So we went to where uh, to uh, Lays, uh, and I'll, I'll show you Lays was the IPO, and um, with Lays it started off here, quickly moved up, sold off into a halt downwards. When it resumed, it moved down, and uh, I bought the the, the it, was, it looked like it was it was returning. I, I decided to buy for a bounce. Uh, I didn't know what, what kind of what kind of bounce I would get, so I, I, I got in and, and rolled it up, and we was able to get uh, get, get in this. Um, we got some profit as it pulled back. Then we got back in for the break of four dollars here. Rolled that up, took some more profit as it pulled back. We got out, and, and that was pretty much it. That's when we saw this double bottom. And let me just show you this double bottom on the five minutes in particular. It, it really is absolutely spot on. This is on, here we go. The move up, the double bottom. And this was called out here. As it was breaking the, uh, the, the V, this was called out by Dave in the day trade with Tony Discord. And that's what we do on the, uh, in the day trade with Tony Discord. We, we call out uh, a lot of the patterns that we see and a lot of the, uh, the, the momentum sticks that we see. So that there's everybody, somebody, Somebody is watching the, the charts pretty much all day long. So you don't have to be sat at your desk all the, all the day. If you've got the Discord on your phone or whatever, you're going to get the alerts and you're going to get people calling out, you know, that there is something happening. And if it's something that you kind of like the look of, then you can get back to your desk and, and, and take part. And that's what I did here. So um, I was able to get in here, ride this up. We got up and touched this, this 10.25 area again. So again, the quarter dollar that I got faked out at before, we moved up there, it, it did come back, then tested it again and again and again. And you can see we've got this ascending wedge. So we've got the double bottom, the move up, and we've got this ascending wedge here. And on this time here, it, it looked like it was going to break out. And we've got this, this kind of false breakout. Uh, I took some profits before the false breakout, first and foremost, uh, at the top. It was about the third or fourth attempt at, uh, at 10.25. And I took some profits at 10.18. Um, so then as it moved up, I was still in the position, it flushed down hard. And I thought, okay, it was a breakout, big volume, but then a lot of people sold off. So it was a lot of people that were waiting for that breakout to, to take the profits. But rather than panic, I, I bought the dip here. And quickly, and sure enough, it moved back up and back up into this, this ascending wedge on the, on the, the one minute chart in particular, it was tapping this this ten twenty five area, and you and you'll see on the on the replay just exactly what uh, what happened. As it broke out, I was watching this and I thought, okay, I'll just let it ride. I'll let it ride up when it starts to to to, to meet, and it went all the way up to over over eleven dollars. It started to 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 uh, kind of consolidate up up there. Uh, that's when I decided to you know take some profits. My last position there uh, would have been. 11.23, we exited the position, we put a stop in and we, we exited the position and uh, we've finished 
uh, $10,000 up on, on the day. So from coming from uh, over $7,000 down to $10,000 up on this one ticket, we had the $3,000 from Blaze. That puts us $13,500 up on, on the day. So a great finish to um, what was a kind of really, really choppy month. And whilst we didn't meet the initial goal that we had on uh, September, so I took the first two weeks of September off. So I set a reduced goal. Normally I look for $100,000 a month. So I set a reduced goal this month of $70,000. I thought, okay, it's, it's, it's quite a, a, a long month. There's more than, more than 20 trading days this month. So 70,000 is, is a realistic goal. It's ambitious, but it's a realistic goal. Um, it, after the first week, it probably dawned on me that that's probably not going to happen. Uh, so I, I just kind of halved the goal and, and we went for 50,000. We revised the goal and, and, and went for $50,000. And then this week, after the first red day, I thought, okay, we've got chance. We need to have, still need to have uh, a couple of good red days. We had a really good day on Tuesday, which brought us back into contention to to get over that that, that $50,000. Uh, we had another good day on, on Wednesday, then Thursday, yesterday, we, we lost a bit of money. So I was kind of thinking, do you know what? It's asking a bit much to, um, to, to get it. It's a possibility, but can we get over 50,000 uh, goal on the, uh, on, on the month? And we was able to do it. So 55,000 is where we, uh, where we finished. Let's, let's, take a, let's take a look. Okay, so this is my trade of you uh, report. So this is my journal. Uh, this is where I log all my trades and uh, my reports and, 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 and look at my statistics. So we can see this is this is the, for September. You can see that my average daily gain in September was just under four thousand dollars. So across the year, I've been averaging over five thousand dollars, so about fifty-two hundred. And I'll, I'll show you the, the annual uh, statistics in a moment. So just uh, just under. $4,000. So I'm kind of rounded up $4,000. I'm a little bit behind in terms of average goal. So we got to where we wanted to be in terms of um, uh, the the month, the goal on month. And uh, what I would say, however, that being uh, across the board, the win loss expectation in September was a little bit different, just slightly off, camp, uh, off keel. So um, 62.5% versus 37.5%. So 62.5% trade selection accuracy, which is not too bad. Normally I'm looking for two to one or better on any given month. Across the year, I'm, I'm better than two to one. Uh, I look at the risk reward, how much I've gained versus how much I've lost. 130,000 versus 74,000. So again, very similar statistics. It's not quite two to one in my favor. It's actually just off two to one. And uh, uh, with, with that in mind, I, I need to kind of get back to where I was at and, um, and, and work on that, get back to two to one or, or, or better. What I'll say is we did have, again, a bit like August, but we weren't swinging as big as we were in August. We weren't being quite as aggressive with August. We've been a little bit more conservative with the share size and, and just overall. But we still had the, uh, the kind of very volatile equity curve on the move up. But we finished with new highs. So where does that put us on the year? We just finished September. Uh, we're coming into the last quarter of the year. So it's, it's effectively three quarters down. So we should be uh, three quarters of gold. So three to quarters of gold. My goal of 1.2 million gross or a seven figure net goal is, is where we're, um, uh, what, what we're looking for. Sorry, we're 33,000 ahead of goal. September is the ninth month of the year, so we should be nine hundred thousand uh, dollars up in terms of gross profit. We're nine hundred and thirty-three thousand dollars, so we're, we're ahead of the curve. So I can afford to have a little bit of a lax month in one of the three coming. I don't want to though, so that's the point. Uh, the earlier I can get to that that one point two, and more importantly, the earlier I can get to the seven-figure net number. Uh, I can then switch off. What I'd like to do is be able to take some time off in December, take uh, uh, Christmas and New Year off. My birthday is the, the, the start of uh, January. So if I can take Christmas and New Year off, that really would be perfect for me. Uh, so if I can get 
to that 750 net number by let's say the middle of december december 15th or, or december 20th at the latest uh that would be ideal for me now of course if i don't manage to do that then i will continue to to, to trade up the way through december and uh, and away we go the objective is to hit that goal i will be setting new goals for january if i don't manage to hit the goal in, in december I'll probably take the first first week or two off in January and I'll be setting new goals for the new year. Um, the likelihood is I will probably look for an, a 10% or 15% growth depending on where we finish. If I, if I look at my net number, if I hit the goal and I'll say I just finish on the, on the nose, 1 million for the year, or so seven figures, uh, then what I'll probably look for is a, a 1.5 million gross. Uh, so if that means I've taken 1.2 to get to the 1 million net or where I've taken 1.3 to get to the 1 million net, or whatever it is, I'll probably look for 1.5 gross next year and I, I'll set a gross target. Similar kind of 15% transaction costs to, to, to go into that. I'll probably be looking for about 1.2. Uh, next year which will be actually be a 20 percent increase uh on on the uh, the overall goal um so yeah that, that's where we are on the year it's uh it's been a, a really really good start the average daily gain across the year remember i was talking about uh september we were at um, just under four just under four thousand uh and we're over far well just under uh, 5300 actually so uh, 50, 52.74 is our average gain every day since the start of the year. Um, I can't, this is the most of, uh, this will be the most I've earned um, uh, across the board uh, in my trading career to, to, to date. I've got three months left and no doubt in my mind that those three months will be profitable. I will be doing uh, October. I'll be starting from Monday, 90 minutes before the market opens. I will be streaming. I will be trading from two hours before the market opens. But you can join me here live uh, 90 minutes before the market opens on Monday, which is 8 a.m. market time. It's 1 p.m. where I'm based. So I trade in the afternoons on the, the uh, U.S. market. So if you want to, want to join me, come join me uh, here on Monday morning. Before the market opens, so, and of course we do trade the full hour of the of, of the market up, but first hour of the market after the bell uh, as well. As we start a new month, and the goal we will be starting, I will be filling out my withdrawal forms uh, after I've finished this uh, th th this trade recap, and uh, th we'll be starting again with um, with with a thirty thousand account, so a much smaller account, and uh, we go again on Monday. Hopefully October will give us some great opportunities to make money. Come join me. Now, enjoy the trade recap. Thank you very much. Hope to see you Monday. Got him before. Break of four dollars. We get the break. That was the idea.
on top of this sort of 30 at this stage. A stop at $4. Got stock take for two thousand dollars on that one. Four dollars again. I got stopped out. That's too too tight. So three thousand up on this one. But look. Average cost is ten dollars. Breakout. Just take some off there, uh, just in case it doesn't break. Accelerate twenty-one. Go. Oh, that's what we're looking for. Everybody's selling after that top, so I'm just gonna buy there. 